All right, so we're ready now to uh, look at the editor. Let's go ahead and open the content browser, and uh, we can go ahead and import our media now. So uh, soccer field underscore sm, <clears throat> and uh, we're going to import this into the soccer field package with a subgroup of a mesh. Hit OK. I've already imported this model, so it might ask me to replace it. Okay, so there you go. Soccer field uh, underscore static mesh. Let's save this on the default directory. And there we go. All right, so again, the whole point of block app media is to get a good sense of flow um, and a scale uh, in your map. And we noticed that this is <laughs> tessellated extremely heavily. For a field, I mean, yeah, we could have two triangles that represents this whole thing, and that would probably work fine. But, uh, you know, it's blackout media, I don't care, it's going to be replaced, that's the idea, it's going to be replaced later. So let's make sure, uh, by default these would be checked, let's uncheck these, give it per poly collision, and I would suggest doing that for all of your blackout media. Don't worry about collisions, don't worry about anything like that, um, just uh, get as much material uh, in your level as, as you can to get a good sense of the scale and the flow of your level. Alright, so we can close that, um, we're going to go ahead and import our texture now. Uh, our soccer field underscore mix and I'll go ahead and import it into the texture subgroup compression no alpha there's no alpha channel and uh, go ahead and save this package okay okay so let's go ahead and create a new material I've already created it here in the materials group double click on it and I've uh, thrown this let's actually put it in the emissive and make this uh, an unlit material so that no light uh, affects it go ahead and save this and uh, let's apply this material. So I'll copy this reference. Let's apply it to the mesh, to our soccer field. And so we open up the static mesh app editor, uh, expand LODs, and apply it here by pasting it. So here's our soccer field. But theoretically, we should be able to throw this in the game, and we're going to do that real quick and um, run around. And this should this should feel like the appropriate size and scale for our soccer field. Okay, so let's take our soccer field static mesh and drag it into our scene and uh, we can close this out now hit F4 to go to the properties of the mesh go to movement location and reset the location to 0 0 0 this is going to reset our field so that it's perfectly centered in our world um, so here's our soccer field pretty big um, we can go to view uh, actor classes go to the uh, where is it? Uh, um, navigation point. Uh, we can add a player start. Right click, add player start here. Drag it up a little bit. Okay. And uh, go ahead and uh, maybe add a. Well, we don't need a light actually, so let's just build all. <clears throat> okay, it's built. Now we can go ahead and. Uh, quickly run around it. So we can go ahead and play this level in the editor window. And uh, there's no light, so everything's going to be all dark, but uh, at least because our material is unlit, we can go run around and uh, confirm that the scale uh, looks right. So here's our soccer field. I'm running around, and yeah, it looks pretty good. So this is uh, to scale a soccer field in, uh, in Unreal. Alright, so we've got a lot of work to do to make the soccer field actually look like a soccer field. Um, I'm going to work on the material and I'll come back and uh, I'll walk you through my material mix and all the textures used in it. Okay, so I've imported a generic grass and a dirt texture uh, and I've also imported a dirt mix uh, and uh, we still have our uh, soccer field mix. So let's go ahead and open up the material that I created and take a look at it real quick. So. Uh, this is the dirt mix, I'm uh, sorry, the, the original mix map that we created. And I'm basically pulling out the, the whites in it by multiplying it by 10. And then I'm adding the grass to it. So this basically um, acts as an overlay on top of the grass. And in the grass, I'm modifying the texture coordinates by, um, multi by, by adding multiple uh, uh, iterations. So when I zoom in, it looks like the grass is tiled in uh, appropriately. Now I'm also plugging this texture coordinate into the UVs of the dirt texture, so it's basically um, modifying the UVs of both these materials. 
Now I'm taking the grass um, mix map and I'm multiplying it by 100 to pull that out more. And uh, multiplying that, and basically I'm adding all of it together uh, into the final output and plugging that into the diffuse. So I'm not worrying about a normal map, I'm not worrying about any specular, emissive, anything like that. Um, whereas I might, you know, I might, I might put a normal map in the final version, but this is just quick and dirty, uh, three minutes. Don't, don't spend a lot of time on your uh, blockout material. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and save the package. And we're going to go back to on uh, 3 Studio. Okay, so here's our soccer field again in 3D Studio. Um, I'm going to use this soccer field as a reference now to create my uh, surrounding um, structures, the stadium. So let's look at our references. Um, we have, uh, let's see here. Here's our stadium reference. So I'm going to put some bleachers in the front, on the sides, and maybe like an overhanging thing over here. And I'm going to do this in, you know, 10 minutes, guys. Very basic box modeling. Um, so I'll go ahead and cut right now. And um, when I return, I'll have something basic that we can probably import. OK, so I spent about 15 minutes and just did some really quick modeling based on my um, reference photo. So here's, here's what I have. Uh, and here's the photo that I've got here. Uh, so I've got some weird overhanging thing on the side and just some basic bleachers. So, I mean, it, to me it doesn't matter. Um, uh, so this this will work fine for me, I think. I'm going to go ahead and rename these bleachers. So I'm going to call this uh, North Bleacher underscore Static Mesh. Uh, East Bleacher Static Mesh. This guy down here is going to be the South Bleacher. And... Uh, the one on the left is going to be the West Bleacher. Now, very important in this step, I'm also going to make sure that every model has secondary UVs. Uh, I don't really care about the, uh, you know, how they're laid out, but uh, so let's go ahead and unwrap UVW. Set the map channel here to 2. Reset UVWs. Yes, I want to reset and uh, edit them. And uh, let's go ahead and just do, um, you know, uh, let's select our faces here. Select all the faces. Make sure they're, they're all selected. Let's uncheck ignore back facing. So we're going to check all the faces that we have here. And uh, over here we're going to go mapping, flatten mapping. Okay, that's fine. I really don't care about UV space. These are, everything here is going to be, uh, you know, uh, replaced later on. So. Uh, and then let's go ahead and collapse everything, convert to editable poly. That is how you update it. And so now we go to uh, add a UV unwrap modifier again. We can look at the first UVs. And then we can go to the second UVs, reset it. Yes, and there we go. So we can switch back and forth um, that way. And the reason why we're doing the second set of UVs is because we want uh, light, uh, we want to be able to map our light mapping and our shadows onto. Uh, these surfaces. All right, so I've made sure all the bleachers um, have secondary uh, UVs as well as the field. Uh, originally, the field didn't have any, so I went ahead and added it there too. And uh, now, when I bring it in, it'll allow me to draw shadows on everything. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uh, exported everything in the scene, making sure that everything also has uh, secondary UVs. Um, I've also done a hard edge smoothing by adding a smooth modifier and leaving it at the default properties. Uh, and that was applied to uh, all the meshes, and I went ahead and I brought them in already. So we'll go ahead and throw them in the scene now. Um, the easiest way to do that is to actually um, just drag it onto the scene and hit F4 to go to the properties. And under movement, location, set the offset to 0, 0, 0. And uh, they should all offset to their, um, to their positions uh, in the world. So, we're going to do that for all four of them. Zero, zero, zero. You can see that they're placing themselves uh, in the appropriate places. Uh, and uh, let's do the this one over here. F4, location, zero, zero, zero. And the fifth one, F4, movement, location, zero, zero, zero. OK. So I'm going to close this. And here we go. Now here is uh, a rough block out of our, looks almost like a soccer stadium now. What do you know?